I'm not sure what you had for breakfast, but you probably didn't have what Rome is having for breakfast, and that's where we're going to start. Okay, we're adding the perfect crunch and flavor to your morning with a whole lot of deep frying and some K-pop culture. So how does a deep fryer and K-pop, how does that go hand in hand? Well, let's ask Roma. She's live at a food truck that's bringing so much flavor to our city. All right, Roma, wow. Are you like part of a K-pop group like BTS? I, I like it, I like the moves. Absolutely, Paul, you can call me K-pop dog girly. I'm here with Kenny Wynn. He is the owner of K-pop dogs. I had to get into my best energy, my best outfit for this because I'm super excited to learn all about Korean corn dogs. Yes. I kind of told the audience, was I right? It's potato? Panko, uh, mozzarella, hot dog, and it's made with rice flour, so it gives it like a chewy texture mm. while also being crunchy. That is delicious. What inspired you to open up this food truck? So uh, I went on a trip to South Korea, and I really enjoyed one of these for the first time, and I felt like I had to bring it back to San Antonio. Heck yes, yes. we love that. So let's get to making some, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of All course. right, so what do we need to do? Uh, let me get some of these skewers. For sure, you. get the skewers out. Guys, you see the panko. At first I thought this was the cheese, but this is actually potato as well so yes. okay you got the cheese yep. on the dog yes. guys look at that okay and then we're gonna I'm gonna w follow your lead okay, okay Kenny because it's my it first took me time. a little while to get it down okay so you're gonna slide it in there and you're gonna Whoa. roll it okay and sometimes it might not catch you did it good though it's stuck to your yeah. hot dog there see the yeast on there it uh -huh. gives it that chewy chewy taste so this this is like a would you compare this to kind of pizza dough or more like a corn dog dough um i would say it's probably a little bit of both wow, <laughs> yeah okay. and then the panko gives it an added crisp okay i'm trying to cover yep, it yep you're doing great yep whoa guys there you go hire me all right yep this is fun for part-time guys you go. all right mine looks like a mummy or something but you know what we'll <laughs> no, take that it. looks perfect okay. and then what you want to do is you want to make sure it covers all the mozzarella. Oh yes, for sure, because that's where the chewy, ooey, gooey will happen once yes. it's deep fried. And you want to keep all the goodness inside. Wow, this is so delicious. And so, uh, why did you want to in, like kind of focus? I know you went to Korea, right? Mm -hmm. You were inspired, but you're pretty smart because I feel like the K-pop scene is so popular right now. Oh yeah, I have a lot of friends who are really into K-pop, and you know, I love that crowd and yes. I'm really I want to hop onto the bandwagon and cool. really make the most of it well let's do it you're making the most of it with some flavor Maybe. yes exactly I hear you got dance moves too but we'll, we'll save that for later I don't know who you heard that from ah. but. <laughs> okay so okay. this looks good right yes that okay. looks perfect and then you're gonna roll it into the potato okay roll into the potato yep. and then kind of give it a little squeeze this it in. is so fun okay yep. squeeze like so that it set, sets in there, right? Yes, it and sticks. then you're going to put it into this panko batter right okay. here. Okay. Whoa, guys, this is and crazy And make sure you cover good. every inch of it. Every inch so that yeah. it's super crispy. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Typically, this seems like it doesn't take too long to make if someone orders, right? No, it, it probably comes out in less than five minutes. And how fun, you're here over at Refuge Coffee. That's where you're located. Yes. So people can get their coffee fix and then come over here and get their Korean coffee. Yeah, they have great craft coffee, great craft beer, and they're very friendly. So cool. I love that the community of San Antonio does that. You know, a lot of businesses welcome other businesses into their parking lots. Exactly. It's really, it's really cool. All right, so how, do, how does this look? I kind of did it my own way. No, that looks beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, now I'll follow you. Okay. Go right ahead. Oh, You're and then good. you can put it into the basket. Put it, okay. Just like that? Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Going in. And then we're gonna drop it. Whoa, and, and see. And then we're gonna set the timer for two minutes and 30 two seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds, and that's how that is made. I know you also have tacos here, guys. Yes, that's we do. not all. He's making some bulgogi tacos here that you guys can also come and check out. What goes in these? Uh, so it is beef bulgogi, uh, red cabbage, kimchi, and our house-made Korean aioli. Well, it looks delicious. Your dogs would be so proud. Oh, yeah. I know that this is them right there. Yes, this is Milky and this is Milu. So <laughs> cute. I love that you did name your or inspire your business after them. I have to take a bite as I tell Paul all about how people can find you guys. Yes. When can they do that? Uh, so they could find us over on k.popdogs on Instagram and k slash popdogs on Facebook. Kenny? And how is it? You put the K 
and K-pop dogs. Thank you. This is delicious. Paul, yeah, it, the it, texture, the yeah. gooiness, it's a yes. It's a yes for yeah. me. This is a heart, by the way, Paul. Is that so what many that is? I'm wondering Thank what, you for having us. What that is. Is. You're going to have to show me how to make that a little bit better, but boy, that really looks good. All right. Thanks, Roma. Yeah, boy, it looks good.